Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to Server Gyan. This is Lokendra Singh, and today we are going to discuss about very important topic which is recently asked to me by a couple of students related to kernel patching. So, uh, just to begin with, that I have created one EC2 machine before some time only. We can just take quick review of this machine. This is based on RHL 9. This is T2 micro type of EC2 machine. One public IP address is associated with it. And if you see like details, so this is Red Hat. Platform is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And this is AMI ID, AMI name, when it is launched, like 852 GMT. So like uh, this is launched before five minutes only. I have not done anything before onto this particular machine. This is recently created. So these are the particular details of this particular machine. Okay. So apart from that, if you want to see something else about this machine, we can talk about the status and alarm. So this machine is working perfectly fine. There is no alarm. Uh, no additional monitoring has been enabled because this machine is created only for testing purpose. If we check about security group, only one rule is allowed that is for doing SSH and especially from anywhere. Because obviously after this particular video, I'm going to terminate this machine. If you want to go through networking of this particular video, so you can check this particular section in like this is the public IP, this is private IP, what is VPC ID here, what is DNS name associated with this particular EC2 machine like public DNS, this is private DNS, like subnet ID if any IPv6 address is associated or not, like uh, rest of details are available here, you can go through it once. Okay, so over here we are at SSH client. We are just going to quickly log into this particular machine. So I'll go to my downloads folder where my key pair is placed, login. So even the particular host name that is RHL9, this is set as on temporary basis. So if we need to set hostname on permanent basis, so we can run a command vi is editor etc. Okay, the file name is etc hostname. You can remove this current hostname and you can place whatever hostname you want to update here. So that's the thing which you can do. Okay, I must be working with EC2 user. That's why it did not work. So sudo and I can run this particular command with sudo. Otherwise, I'll have to do sudo su hyphen. Then after I'll be able to perform that operation. It is just because sudo I did not apply. That's why I faced that particular error. Okay, not a problem. Now we have done that sudo su hyphen. So now what we are going to see first of all, we are going to see that what is the kernel version. So guys, how do we check kernel version? So you name hyphen r is a particular command to check the kernel version. What is the exact kernel version running on this particular operating system right now? So this is kernel version we have. Uh, moreover, if you want to know more details of it, you can run a command known as uname hyphen a. So this, this will tell you about like this is Linux operating system. This is the host name of machine. This is the kernel version. And rest of details, if you want to know, like uh, like when and what happened with these particular machines, so you can check these details like this. Okay. What next? So let us say this is a particular kernel version which is running inside our operating system. Now, what next? We want to perform. We are going to perform only one thing here, and which is we need to check whether the particular updated kernel version, okay, greater than this particular kernel version, do we have or not? So we are going to run a command dnf list then run grab kernel so what are we going to achieve by running this particular command we are going to check if any kernel version which has been released after this one so we need to check it moreover if you want to see you can go online and you can check the particular documentation of that kernel whether that is going to be compatible with the particular hardware which you are having right now okay so this is the kernel what is the particular version we have here 247 it means this is the updated one. This is installed by system. And if we want to check when was the last kernel installed, so we can do that with the help of this particular command rpm qa5 grab kernel. We are going to figure out the particular kernel. So this is the core package. We can run a command rpm q 
iPhone iPhone last and then the package name. So this command is going to tell me that when the particular last activity with, with this kernel has happened. Okay, so if you see the kernel this is this was updated on this particular date with timestamp you can easily check. Moreover, if you want to update the kernel, for example, if you want, if you are not sure that if any like latest kernel has been released by Red Hat or not, what you can do? DNF update and then the kernel version, so like uh, kernel. So what it is going to say? See here. So if you see, what is the previous version? See, what is the previous version? 5.14.0. 247.20 this is the particular version of this kernel but if you see here we are going to have 35.1 our latest 20.1 now we are going to have like 35.1 this is the major difference that we have new latest kernel available so if someone is going to ask do you have any major major version release no this is not major version this is just a patch release maybe some uh, security patch or something has been released by red hat so what we are going to do we are going to run the command yum update kernel and then that is it okay yes we are going to update it so it will fetch all the dependencies which are required to install this particular kernel and if you see in sequential mon uh, sequential manner first of all all the like uh, modules and core are being installed after that the kernel actual package is being installed So first of all the dependency then the main package will get installed into the operating system. So let's wait for a while. We need to check that whether both the kernels are available within this operating system or not and we will try to reboot and we will see like what particular version is available to run this particular operating system. That's what we are going to see. Okay, so I'm not going to fast forward, fast forward this video. If you want, you can do that. So it is taking some time because kernel is being updated right now. And uh, apart from that, I'll just walk you through that. How do you validate that kernel has been updated or not? What are the particular commands which has been executed? Moreover, we will get to know that what are the particular precautions we need to take in order to take kernel backup. So that sort of thing, yes, kernel is updated. So now what command we are going to run rpm hyphen qa pi grab kernel okay so if you see like version 20 and version 35 both are available but if we want to see like which particular kernel is being used in order to run this operating system so that is very easy just run a command u name space hyphen r so this is the previous version now if i want to see whether if i reboot the system then what would happen let us reboot reboot hyphen f but before that let us see what has happened dnf history so these are the commands which have which we have executed now we will run a command D, uh, dnf history info so these are the particular packages like history info command we are running so uh, what we can do we like let us say if there is only one so we can we are able to see it if we want to see any specific one then we can definitely define the particular that particular history number only like transaction id we can define after info info and what others we can do like we can roll back the changes dnf history do undo redo that sort of options are also available with the help of this particular command like we can roll back the changes with the help of this command only if you are not aware that uh, how we can perform that hyphen hyphen help option you will run and then after you will get to know that these are the particular options available like uh, install root no documentation so that's like multiple options are available here you can perform a, like uh, multiple other operations as well okay so now what we are going to do we are going to reboot this op like this system reboot hyphen f via hyphen f like forceful we are rebooting it otherwise this will stuck in between so I just want that my terminal should be free and I should be able to log in again 
within the same terminal it will take some time to release this particular terminal that i should be able to relog in this operating system and in order to check that what sort of things are happening on this particular system so what we can do we can go to this instance and over here uh, obviously like we have only one instance selected we can go to actions and then we can go to monitoring and troubleshoot so there are multiple options like we can see like get system logs so it will it will print it will help us to print the system log the reboot machine restarting system system like machine restart so these commands we gave from that ui and right now we are able to see the particular logs here so if, so if you want to connect that machine from here itself so obviously if console access is required uh, is available then we can do that but for this particular machine i do not have console access so that will not allow me to log in from here for that what i need to do i'll check that whether the particular pipe is broken or not i'll hit once again and uh, obviously i'm logged in now sudo su hyphen now how to check whether new kernel is being utilized or not the same command u name hyphen r we can use and if you see earlier the particular kernel version was 20 right now it is run, the operating system is running with 35 if you want you can remove the previous kernel version how can we identify which which kernel version to remove rpm hyphen qa pipe grab kernel this is the command which we can use now in order to remove the previous kernel what to do just select this particular package like dnf remove and the kernel version hit enter so it is going to ask you like what are the particular packages this particular system is going to remove so it is going to remove only one package right so if you want you can remove but ideally it is recommended that you should have at least two or three previous kernel version as well installed in your operating system why it is so because let us say if your updated kernel is not able to boot your operating system so at least you should be in a position to reboot your system with previous kernel version so that is why it is not recommended now if you want to see like uh, what are the particular packages which are modified by this particular package so you can run the command rpm hyphen qa pipe grab kernel okay let us select the latest kernel version we want to see like which are the particular files updated or modified rpm is a command hyphen qf and mention the kernel version okay so i'm sorry sorry that is ql This doesn't contain any file. So this is the kernel which is available for us. Okay, now let us say we have multiple files within slash boot directory, which are very important. So there are these are the particular files which are available, like 20 and 25. So if I want to see like which particular package created this particular file. And which package created this particular file? So I'll run a command here: rpm hyphen qf query for file, and I'll place the name of this particular file. So it is saying that this particular package created that particular file. This rpm. The same way, if I want to ensure that which particular package installed this particular one, so what would happen? That will display the previous kernel version name here. So if there is any file in the system which you want to understand, okay, which particular package created which particular file, you can identify with the help of this particular command. Okay, let me give you another example. So let us see if I want to know which particular file created this particular, uh, which RPM created this file, like rpm-qf slash etc, let us say, passwd. So this is the particular package known as setup. This particular package is responsible to create this particular file. One more thing, when we are playing with the, this RPM, just one more trick I want to share with you rpm hyphen ql package name this is going to tell you like this rpm is responsible to create how many files so vice versa we can do that and i hope like this video has been helpful for you to do to understand the patching and how to update your system kernel so that is it for this video guys thank you everyone for watching this have a good time please do like share and subscribe and please share this video with your friends who are looking for kernel patching or maybe system patching and yes guys, before we close this video, if you want to update your entire system, you can do that. DNF update minus Y. This will update all the available packages within your system, which, which have like recent packages released from Red Hat. This may take maybe 10 to 15 minutes because multiple packages are going to be updated. So you can run this particular command as well in order to update your entire operating system. Thank you everyone. Have a good time. God bless you all.